before I begin, I'd like to thank the parents of the bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Ho, Mr. and Mrs. Lee. Words aren't enough to express the gratitude for helping them become the people they are today. I owe a lot of who I am now to them, so I'm honored to be able to share a bit of why I think they're both so special. For those of you I haven't met, I'm Ray's cousin Omega. Despite growing up together, it wasn't until much later in our lives that we came to develop the bond that we share today. As Ray would tell the story, I was a big bully as a kid. So he would later tell me he hated coming to LA every summer because I'd kick on him all the time. Our lives wouldn't intersect again until almost 20 years later when Ray would make the fateful decision to move to LA to start his new life. I often wonder what the trajectory, the trajectory of my life would have been had Ray decided to stay in Phoenix. Through Ray, I've met so many lifelong friends and we've created so many memories that it's hard to remember what life was like before Ray. From staying up late, playing Bean Land to take money from Joe and Jeff, to spending weekends playing baseball with the boys. I've come to learn that good times and good people tend to follow Ray wherever he goes. He takes such good care of the important people in his life that it's easy to see why so many people gravitate to him. Everyone needs a friend like Ray in their lives, and I think we can all agree that we're fortunate to be counted among his. But among all the people I've met through Ray, Undoubtedly, the most important has been Christine. I have two siblings, Alpha and Beta, both of whom I love dearly. But both are much older than me, so I never knew what it was like to have a younger sister. But now I do, and I love it. In watching her grow into the strong, beautiful woman standing, sitting before you here today, I can't help but feel an intense sense of pride knowing how she's grown, both personally and professionally. Christine exudes a sense of warmth about her that makes her very easy to emotionally connect to. You can talk to her about anything and trust that she will listen to you with open ears and an open heart. I've had the honor of being there at the very start of their relationship in that motel room right after Dylan Francis. I've witnessed your highs and your lows, your tears of laughter and your tears of sadness. I can't tell you what an honor it has been to have been along for this crazy, beautiful ride. The world may fall apart around you, but as long as Ray has Christine, and Christine has Ray, I have no doubt they will overcome whatever challenges life throws at them. So please, join me in a toast. To celebrate the union of two people who have changed all our lives for the better. 